Hey there, guys. This is Ty from TableFlipFoundry.com. I'm super excited to introduce you to a brand new calibration method for 3D resin printing like nobody has ever seen before. We call it the Cones of Calibration, and today we're going to talk about uh, how does it work and why it's really good for the community. So let's talk for a second about why the heck I think that we need another calibration part. Have you ever seen one of those Facebook posts where somebody prints some other calibration part and they're unsure about the results and so they take a picture and they post it and they're asking everybody whether or not they think they got it right? I just don't think that's a very good result after printing something like that. I felt like you should know without a doubt whether or not you got your settings right. And so I set forth to design a part that utilized a lot of the features of 3D printing that we forget when we're calibrating. Uh, so without further ado, let's have a look at the Cones of Calibration. All right, so you can download the Cones of Calibration from our website at tableflipfoundry.com. Let's have a look at what you get. You're going to get this zip file called the Cones of Calibration. Let's go ahead and extract that. Have a look inside the folder. You're going to get three files, the credits, the Cones of Calibration, and the Tome of Understanding. We also give you a free miniature. This is Puck the Adventurer. Let's talk about him in a little bit. Uh, first thing we're going to look at, the Tome of Understanding. Let's read it. All right. So I'm going to read this with you guys. Legends are told of 3D printers with perfect calibration. As you enjoy a seat at the Table Flip Tavern, a hooded figure approaches you and without a word hands you a small object. A moment later, he is gone. Your local artificer identifies this object as the Cones of Calibration. This is a legendary object. It's mythic. It requires attunement. But there are no other re prerequisites. It gives you a plus one bonus to subsequent crafting checks, a plus one bonus to saving throws against frustration. Legend speaks of an object that produces perfect prints from 3D resin printers. This magical object can be printed and used to calibrate exposure time on your 3D resin printer. So let's, uh, let's talk about some of the function here. This is really important. So on your, your cones, you're going to see one that has a plus sign and a little mark underneath. This is what we call the success calibration cone. Our focus is for the top cone to print fully on the success side of the object. This one here is our failure calibration cone. Our focus is for the top cone to completely fail during printing on this side of the object. So on the success side, we want this top cone to print. On the failure side, we do not want this top cone to print. When we print this object, you orient the cones of calibration in the center of your build plate with no other prints. It's very important. You don't combine this with other calibration parts or other miniatures or anything like that. It's supposed to go in the middle of your build plate just as it is. All right, so let's look at what you might find. A successful top cone printing on the failure side would look like this. This side of the cones are supposed to fail but we've got a cone and a half that printed. This means that our exposure time is too long and we need to, to change it down, like subtract a little bit exposure time to get a better print here. Failed prints or failed cones on the successful side means that your exposure is not high enough. We need to add a little time to our exposure. So you go ahead and print, you look at your results, add or subtract a little time as needed, run the print again. Now, you might find that you might print this four or five times, um, but I think calibrating your printer is a more important task than anything. So I think it's worth the little bit of time you're going to spend here to get it dialed in just right, um, because you're going to save yourself a lot of time and headaches on the other side of, of calibration by not having failed prints or prints that are overexposed. Occasionally, you may receive an abnormal result as seen here. Uh, please remember to keep your focus on both of the calibration cones. So you'll notice that like a center cone or an astray cone might print. These printers aren't perfectly accurate and precise sometimes. Um, but what we're mostly looking for is did the, the calibration cones that we're looking at print properly? If the success one printed, like in this image, we're good. If the failure one didn't print, um, this image actually doesn't have it over here. If your failure cone didn't print, you're good. Occasionally you'll get some odd results, but most of the time you can just write those off as not a problem. We want to make sure that we're focusing on our calibration cones. Did the successful one print? Did the failure one not print? If you got that, then you acquire a new feat, exposure time mastery. 
You've got no prerequisites to have this feat. Your experience and ability to follow guides has helped you master exposure time settings on your 3D printer. Uh, this is what a perfect result looks like, and that's what we're trying to achieve. Okay, that's it. You've mastered the cones of calibration. It's time to put them to test. And to do that, we have given you a free miniature. His name is Puck the Adventurer. Let's have a look. We've got a little readme here. Let's take a look at the readme. Thank you for downloading the Cones of Calibration. Table Flip Boundary would also love to give you this free miniature as a gift. His name is Puck the Adventurer. He's just a little guy trying to make his way in the world. He's got a fiery temper, but one day he's going to be a great hero. I got to give special thanks to uh, Velrock Art. They did an amazing job on our 3D model, as well as Jamushka. She did the artwork here for him, and it's just fantastic. We couldn't be happier. So if you get a chance, go give them some love. You can see their information in the document when you download the Cones of Calibration. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at Puck. All right, here he is in all his 3D glory. Here's our little adventure Puck. So what we've done is we went ahead and pre-supported Puck for you. There's a lychee file as well as an STL file that you can print with whatever slicer you prefer. Um, once you're done printing the cones of calibration, you've got your settings dialed in nice and neat. You're going to go ahead and put Puck in your printer just to verify that everything comes out great. Uh, guys, we are so glad to give this to you. We hope that you really, you really like it a lot. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the people who have really helped to make this part possible. All right, I think we should take a second to show our appreciation for all of the people who volunteered their time and knowledge to help us create these cones of calibration parts for you guys to use. Uh, let's take a look at this credits document we've included in the folder. Everybody who helped us with testing or in some way uh, is listed in this document. Um, Carrie Day is our lead consultant. Um, when I was struggling with some technical difficulties, I was referred to her and she just helped me so much. This part wouldn't exist without her help. Um, she is also a 3D printing educator. She's got her own website. It's uh, listed here. She also works for Table Flip Foundry as a pre-support artist. Um, and she is also one of our testers. Um, Frazier has an Instagram, Things I 3D Printed. Go check him out. He posts some really cool photographs there. Um, one of our, our testers, Doomed Red Shirt. She's got an Etsy store. She has some really cool painted miniature sets if you're interested in those. Um, Arcturos posted, has an Instagram. You can go check out that. Everybody else here. Um, C Catlett has a Twitter. Um, all of these people just dedicated so much time. They printed this part dozens and dozens and dozens of times as I changed, you know, settings and changed the part. And, and uh, I couldn't have done this without them. So huge amount of thanks to everybody who helped out with this project there you have it guys the cones of calibration by table flip foundry you can download the files on our website tableflipfoundry.com go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel we put up all of our classes um, that we do over on our twitch uh, out here on on youtube as well as some tutorials and quick tips and things like that also Check out the links down below. You're going to find a link to our Discord server. We have a huge community of people. They're super friendly and nice. If you want help with your 3D printer, we got you. If you want to show off some painting stuff, we got you. If you need any help or just want to hang out with people who just love the same things you love, you should come join us. Uh, we'd love to have you. Thank you so much. Love you guys. We'll see you soon.